Hello, this is your host. Oh, man, this is the key on my... It's burning hot here. Man, sorry about the last video about the H3H3 -H3 thing. Mm. That made me livid. I had to comment on it. Sorry about it. But, what are we talking today? Well, I figured I'd talk about something happier. Let's go to Happy Land. Happy, happy land. Okay, by the way, if you like the content, hit the like button or comment, please. Now, as you saw the thumbnail, was a bleach bad because of the ending? Hmm. Um, honestly, to tell you what, I didn't, I didn't like the Thousand Year Blood War arc. I liked, in the Thousand Year Blood War arc, everything but the ring, which involved Ichigo's past and, and Ishin's, Ichigo's dad's past, his mother, um, Iru's dad, all that other stuff. That was awesome. That was the best part of everything but the rain. Look, the thousand year book was everything but the rain. That was great. That was the best material. And it had Aizen. Oh, and also Aizen. Aizen was the best part of the thousand year blood war arc. Any chapter he was in was awesome. The only shame is we didn't get to see his Bankai. I was amazed how Aizen was basically doing so good against Bach. Because Bach was overpowered. I also like the fact that we saw Kisuke Uohara's Bankai, which is basically Frankenstein. We never actually got to see Yurichi's Bankai. At least I don't think that was a, or her sword anyway. Her Zanpakuto. That was a shame. Um, we saw a lot of the Bankais though. That was the cool thing. Um, although. Some characters really should have stayed dead and not been brought back. Because they died pretty epic. The only person who actually stayed dead that died pretty epically and pretty brutally was Yamamoto. You know what I mean? The, 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 the general dude. Which, bleh. So, in my opinion, I liked Bleach the best from... And you've probably seen it in the back somewhere in some of my older videos. I do have Bleach. I have the Bleach collection all the way up to the Soul Society arc. And a little bit after. Into the wrong car. I liked it written up till then, but I also loved the Winter War all the way up till Ichigo defeated Aizen. That was awesome. As a matter of fact, that's where it should have ended. Because then it felt like it was filler and padding and dragged out and wasn't as good. Actually, it's a shame. That's actually almost where the, the anime ended. But they ended on the Fullbringer arc, which is kind of bad, and the anime had a lot of filler in it. Which was padded. Um, which was okay. Would I recommend Bleach? Hell yes. Bleach is still within the big three. Now let's let's talk about the big three a little bit, since I I already praised Bleach enough. Bleach is a good series, in my opinion. If you want to read it, you'll be disappointed at the ending, but stop at the end of when Isis is defeated. That's the best way to end it. Okay. So binge up to that part. Now, or watch the anime up to that part. Now, to the final. One of the things that Bleach did right is it was part of what here in the West known as the Big Three. And people have always said, well, there'll, will there be another Big Three or Big Three? I was like, no, there will never be another Big Three. The Big Three was One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto. Why do I say there will never be another Big Three? That's because the Big Three brought such influence here to the West. Oh my god, is that the Popos? Yeah, that's, they're, they're just running around town right now. Don't worry, they ain't the Big Three brought such big influence here to the West that that's what basically brought manga and all them popular again and anime. And up till then, anime was kind of a really niche thing. Like, you really had to go, like, late night and all that other stuff. And, like, the only big anime was Dragon Ball Z. Like, everybody was Dragon Ball Z. We didn't... Those three shows helped boost it so to the mainstream. It's actually thanks to them that we have... Academia, all these other ones that are out now. So, in regards to Bleach and the Big Three, out of the Big Three, uh, Bleach was my favorite next to Naruto, and I've never really liked One Piece. Sorry about that. I probably might make a video of why I don't like One Piece. But, that's besides the point. Um, also, the ending was rushed. I actually felt bad for Kubo because he literally had to wrap everything up in five chapters. That was so sad because there was a lot of setup. There was a lot set up, and it seemed like he wanted it to go on longer, but there was probably some backdoor politics, and that's probably why it ended as well as it ended like it did. Now, the only good thing that came out of that was that bloody epilogue where you see how the ending was, but it, that inflamed the shippers. 
Um, honestly, don't see bad. Or you may have a lot of chemistry with Fitcher to begin with a little bit, just like Rukia, so meh. It's fine. Uh, but Bleach was very big on shipping to begin with, so I don't really see why the ending was <laughs> like everyone braves their pitchforks. Now, Bleach wise, um, if I was to recommend movies, I would recommend movie one, two, actually all, all three, all four of the movies are really good. They're really good. In my opinion, the fourth one's the best because you get to see what hell looks like. It's only shown like one time in the manga, so you can see what inside of hell looks like. That one's really good. Um, if you want Bleach games, there's Bleach Dark Resurrection for PlayStation 3, which is probably outrageously expensive by now. Um, there's also the third Phantom. I've reviewed that. Check the video out. Shameless plug. That's all the Bleach content that I can think of right off the top of my head. There's probably more that hasn't been translated yet. But Bleach, in all general, was good. I, in my opinion, I enjoyed Bleach. I enjoyed the journey. I may not enjoy the ending, but I enjoyed the journey up to the end of the the Winter War arc, which was until Isaac was defeated. Until then, this is your host signing off in a better mood, in a better, better happy. I hope you all have a great day. See ya. Oh, by the way, leave a like or a comment. I'll respond always.